Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing a week four in the NFL. We're talking right now with Al McMorty, Big Al McMorty from BigAl.com, who has uh, a great record long term in the NFL, but this year he hasn't done well, done well in the NFL in the first few weeks so far, and he's being honest about it, which blows my mind. Al McMorty, thanks for being back with us. What, Peter, are you saying that uh, other people who do the videos with you aren't honest? I don't know, but I, if, if I were 4-11 and 11 over my last uh, 15 picks, I would, say, I would say that I'm 8-7. and seven, And I would say, yeah, I haven't been so great, but I'm hoping to do better. I'm eight, we're 8-7 and seven over our last 15 picks, uh, but we're hoping to do better <laughs> going forward. That's what I would do. Uh, but, you know, I guess you have the luxury of being honest because if you extend your honesty out, it, it looks very good for you because uh, you're, you went 83-57 and 57 in the NFL last year, so... You know, a four and eleven run here in the NFL, you're going to have to do uh, pretty bad for quite a long time before you start to uh, have people doubting you long term, right? Yeah, and that's true. I mean, I've been in the business since 1992, and I wouldn't have lasted in this business for you know 22, 23 years if I wasn't honest. You know, people who are dishonest, they get out of the business real quick, and people who are honest and put and give their clients a good product, those are the ones who can stay in business. And I'm fortunate that we've also had, I think, 16 out of 21 winning football seasons. So. You know, it's, it's, it's honesty, it's credibility, it's, it's long-term success. But, yeah, as we just mentioned, you know, this year getting off to a terrible start in the NFL, four wins and 11 losses. But two years ago, ranked number one in the NFL, we hit 76.7% on our top plays last year, 83 and 57. So it will turn around, hopefully. This week. As far as I'm concerned, your technical analysis uh, speaks for itself. It shines a unique light on these lines. All right. Green Bay and Chicago is the game we're going to analyze here. And, uh, you know, I'm interested to hear what your take on this is because I think I'm seeing an edge. Hopefully, you agree with it. Chicago's one and a half point uh, home underdog, and that line's gotten bet up a little bit uh, from Pickham. Total's 49 and a half or 50. And, uh, you know, Chicago played Monday night. They did get the win, but it was a little bit of a Pyrrhic victory because they did uh, uh, suffer a bunch of, uh, of um, injuries especially on defense. Green Bay coming off their kind of like lackluster, low-scoring loss. So um, I'm thinking that uh, that Green Bay is going to be able to solve their problems from last week. Probably, the, you know, their offensive line has them doing well. They haven't been able to establish a run game. But I'm willing to bet that uh, that the win on Monday night took something out of Chicago. The injuries are going to hurt them. And Green Bay with Aaron Rodgers is somehow going to be figure can be able to figure it out enough to be more likely than not to get a win here. So I'd take Green Bay minus one and a half, unless you talk me out of it. What do you think, Alex? I'm not going to talk you out of it. I, mean, I, I hope you're right. I hope I'm right. Okay. Um, I like Green Bay a lot here. You know, since 1980, road teams in division games in the NFC North or old NFC Central, they've covered 59% of the time off a loss if their division rival is off a win. And then 68% of our road team is off a double-digit loss. So that's one reason I really like the Packers here. Another is that it's, it's extremely profitable to play on losing teams that are favored or pick them off a loss if they fail to cover by eight or more points in the previous game. And now they're matched up against an opponent off a straight up win. These teams are an unbelievable 50 and 20, their last 70 against a spread. The Packers have owned the Bears. You know, they've covered 10 out of the last 13 versus Chicago. They're 17 and four straight up and 16 and five against the spread their last 21 road games versus the Bears, including 15 and one ATS when the point spread is four points or less. Chicago, as you mentioned, is banged up, short week. You know, I really, really, really like Green Bay in this situation. And, you know, I, I, I think it's a very reasonable point spread just to lay one and a half. Hope we have a winner here. Nothing much more to say. Green Bay minus one and a half. Me and Al McMurray both agreeing on this one. Thanks so much, Al. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.